Welcome to ECW. We've officially begun the road to WrestleMania. I'm Joey Styles, seated next to ECW icon Taz. What a night we have planned, Joey. It's gonna be off the hook. Two of the best young superstars in sports entertainment squaring off in what's sure to be a classic match. Whoa, Hardy and Pump. This one's gonna be ridiculous, Styles. You're right there, partner. These are two of WWE's hottest young stars, and you can be sure they're going to give it their all. And he hits a big time leg drop. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. Both parties and Pump wrestle very similar high risk styles. That means it's going to be hard for one to get the advantage over the other. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. A vicious dunk. And he's only up to the top turn buckle. He strikes with the elbow. He's working the fundamentals there. He drops the leg across his opponent. You have to think, whoever wins this match will get a huge boost in confidence. That's always the product of intense matches like this. You slip up, you're going to regret it. And that's a stiff kick. He's going to force behind that leg drop. Wait a second, what's he doing? There it is, the Anaconda Vice. He's choking the life out of his opponent. And that's the match. Two young athletic superstars did not disappoint. That was one heck of a match. I hope they mix it up again soon. I couldn't agree more, partner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ECW. Tonight, we get to see the ECW champion in action. Tommy eats, sleeps, and breathes ECW, Joey. Kind of like me. It's that dedication that's endeared him to the ECW fans. You pulled out a lucky win last week, punk. Somebody once told me, if you're good, you don't need luck. I doubt you're good enough to beat me again. I'm standing right in front of you. If you feel lucky. This is ECW. We solve disputes the extreme way. If you two want to go at it again, what about an extreme rules match tonight? I'll even give the winner a shot at my ECW championship at the Royal Rumble. Let's do it. I'm in, but just know this, Jeff Hardy. When I go extreme, I don't hold back. For the second week in a row, these two superstars are putting their bodies on the line, all in the hope of going to the Royal Rumble for a shot at the ECW Championship. And with stakes like that, you know they won't hold anything back. He landed directly on his opponent. He almost took his opponent's head off with that Larry. And that's a stiff kick. A vicious stop. And there's the light drop. Oh. And there's... 
there's the Hurricane Rana. After the outcome of last week's match, Jeff Hardy must be feeling nervous. There's no doubt about it that Punk's got the psychological advantage, but you and I know Hardy's never scared. A swift kick to the opponent. He dodged that bullet. He's working the fundamentals there. Great. Looks like we'll be standing up for the rest of the match. No, I don't look forward to standing. Don't worry. The fans behind you should still be able to see just fine. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. Puts the boot to his opponent. Oh, great reversal. He's blasting his opponent with that crutch. And he hits a big time leg drop. That kick rocked him. Don't you think it's a bit strange that Tommy Dreamer would offer to defend his title against the winner of this match? Not at all, Joey. Tommy's a proud competitor, and he knows these two very well. Just brutalizing his opponent with that table. Just remember, whoever comes out on top in this match will receive an ECW title shot at the Royal Rumble. We're getting extreme now. And he brings his leg crashing down. What a kick that was. Punk's knee connects. They could be out. I think I see red. Yes, he's busted open. Oh, my God. <laughs> this Extreme Rules match has been full of action so far. This kind of match is perfectly made for Hardy and Punk. Anything goes. What better way to sell your differences? And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. Here we go. There it is. The Anaconda Vice. He's choking. Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. These two left it all in the ring. That's for sure. What a match. That was definitely extreme, Joey. I just hope they're both okay. I'm sure earning a shot at the ECW Championship will help CM Punk's healing process.
Punk have had extreme contests over the past few weeks, but tonight they're teaming up to take on two fearsome competitors. If they're going to have a chance of winning, they'll need to put their past behind them and work together as a cohesive team. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. He's working the fundamentals there. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. What impact delivered from that toss. Wait a second. What's he doing? And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. You can tell Hardy's feeling the effects of the Extreme Rules match last week. He appears to be favoring his leg. I wonder how that will affect the outcome of the match. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. A vicious dunk. Team. One. I think someone's been taking flying lessons. Two. By winning the match last week, CM Punk has earned his shot at the Royal Rumble. But he can't afford to look past the match. Burke and Morrison are just as tough as they come. And there's the tag. What a crushing bulldog. He's intent on leaving a mark on his opponent. A swift kick to the opponent. There's a fundamental move. There's the leg drop. There's no doubting the competitive level of Punk and Hardy getting in the ring again after two brutal matches in previous weeks. That just comes with the territory. If you're asked to compete, you give it all you got. Plain and simple. You don't get good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. Oh my god! He's bleeding like a stuck pig. <laughs> that kick rocked him. Oh boy, there's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. I don't even know how he can still stand after taking so much physical abuse. I don't think this is going to last much longer. There it is, the Anaconda Vice. He's choking the life out of his opponent. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. After a man On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. The kick connects. Whoa! Here it comes! Punk's knee connects. They could be out. The cross body takes him down. One, baby. two, three! I don't believe it. This one's over. Two weren't at full strength, but they still did it. My hat's off to them, and I'm not even wearing a hat. Usually, when John Morrison and Elijah Burke smell blood, they're nearly unstoppable. That was not the case tonight. Welcome to another live installment of ECW. The champs got a big test tonight. Elijah Burke is no joke. Title match combined with facing CM Punk at the Royal Rumble marks a pretty busy week for Tommy Dreamer. Hey man, listen. I'm worried about getting jacked by the same guys you faced last week. What do you want me to do about it? I want you in my corner tonight to watch my back.
You know you and I have a championship match in a few days, right? All right, all right, okay. You're lucky you're an ECW legend. What a strange relationship we have brewing between Tommy Dreamer and CM Punk as the champion asks his challenger to watch his back tonight. One thing I like about Punk is that he's a competitor and he's not looking for any shortcuts. He wants Dreamer at his best. Oh my, what a flurry of kicks! He's got his opponent in a very vulnerable position. Yeah, head first, straight into the ground. What a DDT! He's making a cover. One, two! If he hadn't cut his fingernails earlier, that would have been a three count. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. He's taking the fight to his opponent. What a backbreaker. Oh man, I know where this is going. And he made the most of it with that DDT. He wasted no time One, in going for that two. pin. Diving cross body. Oh. And that's a stiff kick. What the? Morrison enters the ring and strikes Dreamer. He just got work disqualified. Dreamer and Punk seem getting the better of Burke and Morrison. A tactical retreat doesn't mean this thing's over, Joey. Punk might have been thinking about doing something there. It's going to be an extreme rules match. You know, not for nothing. I'm not really down with that, to tell you the truth. That doesn't sound like an ECW original talking to me. Why? Because I don't want two talented superstars maiming each other? It should be a violent confrontation, that's for sure. And Dreamer's ECW Championship is on the line. We'll see that match and many others tonight.
This is it, Taz. This is where it all comes to a head. CM Punk versus Tommy Dreamer for the ECW title. Do you think Dreamer will regret his decision? We'll just have to wait and see, Joey. This one could go either way. That kick rocked him. Put all his weight behind that splash. A sick neck breaker. What a counter. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. blow with the axe handle. Just five days ago, Punk had Dreamers back against Elijah Burke. But after Morrison's interference, it looked like Punk was going to strike Dreamer. Hey, look, when ECW title's on the line, friendship counts for nothing. There's the GTS, the go-to-sleep connect. He's showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. And a hard knockdown, big time impact. Tommy Dreamer's been in a lot of extreme matches over the past few years. You have to wonder how much of a physical toll it has taken on his body. Yeah, these matches are just brutal on your body. Quite frankly, I don't know why we even have them anymore. Wow, this is coming from a hardcore icon. Times change, Joey. I just want these guys to be able to walk after this match. This is Punk's big chance. This could be his night. The ECW title is within his grasp if he can just get through Tommy Dreamer. You can't compete in a physical match like this and not wind up feeling the effects. And that's what we're starting to see right here. Later on tonight, We've got the Royal Rumble, but right now, everyone's focus is on the ECW title and the sacrifice CM Punk has had to make to get this far. You can't take this kind of beating and expect it. Punk's knee connects. They could be out, and it looks like he's been bloodied. This is not going to help his chances. I don't know about that. Sometimes seeing your own blood pumps you up even more. Your adrenaline starts to flow. But what about the long-term ramifications? An injury like that could become serious, especially if the match goes on much longer. And that's a stiff kick. That was one vicious neckbreaker. Uh-oh, here it comes. Good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. He could have the pin right One, here. Two, three. And that's the match. CM Punk has captured the ECW Championship. Yeah, but at what cost? Dreamer looks really hurt out there. We have medical personnel out tending to Tommy Dreamer. Watching ECW Live, we have a new ECW champion. Meanwhile, Tommy's still in the hospital with a punctured lung. This shouldn't have happened. There's always a risk in Extreme Rules matches, Taz. You know that, but it was a great contest. Say whatever you want, Joey. I got something I need to do. What? Where are you going? At Royal Rumble, a superstar got hurt. My good friend and ECW original, Tommy Dreamer. And I am sick and tired of this happening time after time. You people love Extreme Rules matches? 
Well, I'll tell you what, it takes a huge toll on us. It's the single reason I had to retire. When a superstar is injured, it's bad for business, and my family doesn't like that. Thanks to Taz's concerns, I'm here by abolishing extreme matches. Effective last week. That means CM Punk's win at Royal Rumble is negated. And I need him to come out right now to relinquish the ECW Championship. What, that's it? Sorry, CM, no more title? You're too extreme for ECW? Unfortunately, yes, but... Talk about hitting a guy when he's down. to ECW, and tonight we start a tournament to decide the next ECW champion. Hopefully it'll go to someone more deserving of the championship. I don't believe there's anyone on the ECW roster who isn't deserving, Taz. What you see in the ring is the future of this business. You've got that right, partner. CM Punk is a truly outstanding superstar. I'm not talking about Punk, man. I'm talking about Morrison. What? This is the man with pure wrestling know-how. Pump now, that's a different story. His viciousness One. has no place on TV. Two. It's a legal move, but it sure is nasty. One. I like where this is going. Whoa, what an impact. Get back in the That's ring. a good way to break a rib on three. Thanks Four. to you, Taz. This is just the first round of a tournament to crown a new ECW champion after Punk was cruelly stripped of the title earlier tonight. Hey, look, you can't go crippling your opponents to win a match. You don't have families to feed. Punk's got to learn when enough is enough. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. What a 
kick that was. Look at the impact. He landed right on him. Oh my gosh, what a slam. What height on that leg drop. And there's the elbow. A swift kick to the opponent. Don't really worry about Dreamer, Joey. He's a close personal friend of mine, and he just got mauled by Punk at the Rumble. We all wish Dreamer the best, Taz, but he's a proud competitor. You know he wouldn't have had it any other way. He's got a punctured lung, man. You think that's what Tommy wanted? Tommy's a damn hardcore legend and has ECW pumping through his veins. So yes, that's exactly what Tommy... There it is! The Anaconda Vice! He's choking the life out of his opponent! I don't believe it. This one's over. Uncrowned champion has moved on to the next round. At least he's earned it the right way. That's what the four remaining superstars are trying to do to get to the ECW Championship. Welcome to ECW. The tournament to crown a new ECW continues. These are some big matches tonight, no doubt. CM Punk versus Elijah Burke may very well blow the roof off of this arena. Hey now, I know the score. Injuries come with the territory. Don't worry about me. I'll heal. Focus on your match. Yeah, round two of a tournament for a championship I never lost. You're rightfully ECW champion, no matter what Stephanie or anyone else says. Go out there and be extreme by any means necessary. Break rules. Use a weapon. Get disqualified. Don't worry about this stupid tournament. Both know it's bogus. Just do your job as an ECW superstar. Just over two weeks ago, CM won the ECW title following a stunning victory over Tommy Dreamer. But thanks to the actions of my broadcast colleague and what? Stephanie McMahon, Extreme Rules matches have now been banned and One. Punk was stripped of the title, which leads us to this moment here tonight and Two. his semi-final match to crown a new champion. Three! I'm warning you, I will count you out! A sharp kick wearing down his opponent's opponent. the hips and what a slam! He hits the drop kick from an incredible vertical leap. If Punk can win, he'll just be one match away from regaining okay, the break. ECW title. Elbow, staggering the opponent. He's going up. He drops the elbow. The kick connects. Uh oh, here it comes. Good night. Hawk hits the go to sleep. Oh, he's looking for an object. What? Is this going to be trouble? One. He's the referee is calling for the bell. Match is over. 
Just like that, CM Punk is out of the tournament. CM Punk needs to learn to play ball here, Styles. Now, we will definitely have a new ECW champion in the tournament final next week. What a misstep by Punk. is ECW live from Richmond, Virginia. Tonight, we culminate our tournament by crowning a new ECW champion. It'll be nice to have some fresh blood wearing the gold, Joey. I know who my money's on. Yes, your opinions haven't been very well guarded these days, partner. America, you get the honor of seeing me before before I coast in there and beat Jeff Hardy without even breaking a sweat. Before I become the new ECW champion. I will usher in a new era. Not of extreme, but of the experience. I'm a champion you can be proud of. Not some frail has in like Tommy Dreamer. Or a greasy wannabe rebel like CM Punk. I'm a true paragon of virtue. That's why it's called ECW, fans. And Taz, don't forget it. CM Punk just ruined the tournament finals. What'd I tell you? The guy's nothing but a thug. Well, 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at No Way Out. Joey Styles and Taz greeting you from ringside. And what a night we have, partner. That's right, Styles. We should have the finals of the ECW Championship Tournament tonight with no interruptions this time. Yes, I think CM Punk might be a little busy with his opponent to worry about the result of that. Uh. CM Punk must be questioning his decisions. He could have been wrestling for the ECW title had he not been disqualified. But instead, thanks in no small part to Taz, he's up against the 500-pound mastodon, Big Daddy V. And maybe this will teach him to think before he acts. Good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. Later on tonight, Elijah Burke will take on Jeff Hardy One, for the vacated. Two. Well, they don't get much closer than that. He almost took his opponent's head off with that lariat. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. There's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. One, two. If he hadn't cut his fingernails earlier, that would have been a three count. Who writes this stuff? That could have done some serious damage. Big Daddy V is one of the most vicious competitors in ECW. 500 pounds of pure crushing force with an extreme personality as well. Night. Hulk hits the go to sleep. He may get the three count right here. And it looks like he's been bloodied. This is not going to help his chances. I don't know about that. Sometimes seeing your own blood pumps you up even more. Your adrenaline starts to flow. But what about the long-term ramifications? An injury like that could become serious, especially if the match goes on much longer. Here it comes. He might be seeing the beginning of the end. And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. Here's the pin. This could One, be it. Two. The match is over. That's all she wrote. What a tough competitor CM Punk is. But I'm still surprised he won tonight. Nobody can doubt the toughness of CM Punk. It's his discipline that I worry about. Disciplined or not, he picked up a big win here at No Way. Along with Taz, I'm Joey Styles, and we thank you for joining us. We got a new champion, baby, and I'm proud to say it's Elijah Burke. It was an intense matchup at No Way Out, but you're right, Elijah Burke came out with the goal. I'll be to introduce you to the new ECW champion, the one, the only, the Elijah Experience, Elijah Burke. Now, Elijah, you've tap danced over the competition in the tournament, and hey, wait a second, where's the top? Don't you have it? I thought you were gonna present it to me. Guys, guys, calm down. What the hell are you doing with my ECW championship? Yours, Elijah? I don't remember anyone beating me for it. I earned that, punk. It's mine. Give it back, or else. How about we find out who the real ECW champion is? Right now, in a last man standing match. No DQs, no count outs, and may the most extreme man win. <laughs> We've got an impromptu last man standing underway as CM Punk challenges the new ECW champion, Elijah Burke. Hey, yeah, Punk's got some nerve. I'm telling you that right now. I hope Burke knocks him right out. He strikes his opponent with the axe handle. Oh, for the leg drop. Not just gonna slip out of that one, my friend. 
This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. And there are those educated feet. Heat the elbow. Oh, that elbow's got to hurt. And he strikes at his opponent with the knee. Punk picked up a huge win at No Way Out over Big Daddy V. But arguably, Elijah Burke had the biggest win of the night, beating Jeff Hardy to become ECW champion. Burke is the better man, Styles. He's ten times the man CM Punk is, and a champion we can be very proud of. What a kick that was. And he's got bad intentions here. And there's the elbow. Another announce table bites the dust. Who pays for these things? A devastating DDT that could have gave him a concussion for God's sakes. Oh man, heads up! That table's in a million pieces and his spine might be too! This isn't how you win the ECW title, Styles. Punk can't even play by the rules, yet alone beat Burke fairly. Punking the fight with unsuspecting Burke here tonight, just two days after his grueling matchup at No Way Out. Uh-oh, he's looking for an object. This is going to be trouble. He's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt. As long as he's got that thing, he's in the driver's seat. Punk's been getting his revenge here tonight. Can Punk keep Burke down for the 10 count? Can Punk leave here the ECW champion? Oh my god! He's bleeding like a stuck pig! What a reversal! A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. A vicious stuff. The kick connects. Watch out! Here it comes! There's the GTS! The go to sleep connects! One! Looks like someone's making it pretty Three. clear that he's not feeling too threatened right about now. The tide Three. could turn in the blink of an eye, and his opponent shouldn't be taken lightly. Four! Six! Taz, what are you... Seven! My partner has left the Eight. booth! What the hell? He's choking out CM Punk! is telling the referee to count Punk, who, who looks lifeless. One, I can't believe this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. Elijah Burke has won this impromptu last man standing match. All thanks to Ted. ECW is here live and about to explode. I'm Joey Styles, but I'm really not sure who my broadcast colleague is anymore. I'm a man with ECW's best interest at heart, Joey. Tonight's main event features three men trying to become the number one contender in a triple threat match. And here's the main event of the evening. A triple threat match as CM Punk takes on Big Daddy V and John Morrison with the winner becoming the number one contender for the ECW title. And hopefully we'll have no interference. A 
punch clearing down his opponent. He jumps and knocks his opponent down with a drop kick. And that's a stiff kick. And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. What a fierce kick. And he hits the drop kick. What impact. The kick connects. Over the neck breaker. Just last week. Punk came so close to regaining the ECW title. Elijah Brooks. And there's the go to sleep. Knee to the temple. He's got him covered. One. He hasn't done nearly enough yet to get the pin. And the knuckles connect. This is never, ever going to work. Not in a million years. Talk about a move with bad intentions. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. Going into this match, you've got to think that Punk will be the favorite holding wins over both Big Daddy D and John Morrison in recent weeks. He's beaten him once, Joey, but now he's facing him at the same time. He's got victory in mind. Sure. Good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. He's gone to... His opponent might not have enough left to kick out of this one. Oh my god! He's bleeding like a stuck pig! He almost took his opponent's head off with that lariat. And there's the belly to back suplex. What a kick that was! There's the drop kick! Looks like trouble right there, I'm telling you. There's the GTS. The go to sleep connects. That kick rocked him. One, two, three. Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. That win means CM Punk is next in line to compete for the ECW Championship. Let's hope that match has no interference. I don't expect you to understand what I did last week, Styles, but Elijah Burke does not need any help to defend the championship. That remains to be seen, partner. The two will clash next week with the ECW Championship on the line. Hello and welcome to ECW, Joey Styles and Taz at ringside, and we have got a blockbuster main event. You know it, Joey. It'll be quite an experience, if you know what I mean. Will CM Punk regain the championship that was so unceremoniously stripped from him weeks ago? And will Taz show extreme bias? I'll call it fairly because I'm that much of a professional. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get bigger than this. CM Punk versus Elijah Burke for the ECW title. This is the match Punk has fought so hard for, defeating Big Daddy V and John Morrison in the triple threat last week. He drops the elbow. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. Got all of that Simone drop. The kick connects, and that'll leave you seeing stars. Never, ever underestimate the sheer force behind this superstar's punches.
I try to get out of that bad boy as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? Punk defeated Tommy Dreamer at the Royal Rumble, winning both the ECW title and the former champion's respect. The fact is, this is a match for a title that CM Punk never lost. CM Punk was stripped of his title because he deserved to lose it. He took things too far. He connects. They could be out. He's going up, and what goes up must come down. Uh-oh, here it comes. And Punk drives him to the canvas. Jaburk won the ECW title just three weeks ago. But can he pick up the win here tonight and go on to WrestleMania as the ECW champion? Good. Punk hits the go to sleep. It's been an... He's making a cover. One. Look at that. Two. Talk about three. a reason this. I don't believe it. This one's over. The wheel has come full circle. CM Punk has regained the ECW Championship. And there goes my partner again. I imagine Elijah Burke didn't expect his reign to be over so quickly, but those are the breaks. Welcome you to another edition of ECW, the most extreme show on television. WrestleMania is right around the corner, Styles. I love this time of year. We still don't know what awaits ECW's new champion at the big event. I have a few ideas, Styles, but you don't really need to know that because you know, you're basically you're a tool. Here we go with this non-title matchup as the champion CM Punk takes on his old rival, John Morrison. As it stands, we still don't know who the champion might face at WrestleMania, but you have to think a win here tonight would put Morrison at the top of the list. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. It's nothing flashy, but it's most certainly effective. That elbow just leveled him. Lord, those lariats can do so much damage. Punk connects. They could be out. And that's a stiff kick. What an incredible DDT. And a hard knockdown. Big time impact. That kick rocked him. Uh-oh, here it comes. Good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. One, two. Well, they don't get much closer than that. Don't look at me. They kicked out. The kick connects. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. Two. Three. Let's go. Get back in the ring. Dear Lord, what a suplex. He wasted no time One, in going for that two, pin. Three. The referee is calling for the bell. The match is over. Morrison's hopes for a championship match may have been extinguished. This looks like an ECW championship reunion. So I thought I'd join you two. Why don't we invite another former champion? 
here's the deal. We want both of you at WrestleMania, and get this, in a tag team match. No time in this CM Punk. It's time that I really teach you what the word, what the word extreme means. And Dreamer, you're not looking too good these days. You need retirement a little bit more than I do. You know what? Maybe a few suplexes on that injured midsection. You know, that would do the trick. That sounds like a great match for WrestleMania. And Taz, since your team made the challenge, I'll let Punk's team pick the stipulation. Any stipulation. What an announcement, Taz is coming out of retirement for WrestleMania. And he's teaming up against the ECW champion. This is it, WrestleMania, the grandest stage of them all. I'm Joey Styles, honored to be at WWE's flagship event. Conspicuously absent, of course, is Taz, who will actually be competing tonight in a featured ECW Tag Team Battle. Let's look at how all of this came about. CM Punk captured the ECW Championship from Tommy Dreamer at the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately, injuring the former champion. As a result, Stephanie McMahon abolished extreme matches and held up the ECW championship. Instead of accepting this, Punk went out of his way to ruin the tournament. This drew the ire of former ECW champion Taz, who aligned with Elijah Burke and challenged Punk and Dreamer to a match tonight. But Punk and Dreamer choose the stipulation. Which side will win? We'll find out tonight. Unfortunately, my colleague whined to Stephanie McMahon to take me off announce duties, so Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler will call this ECW match. Well, Taz gets the hell beaten out of him tonight. Well, things haven't turned out quite like we expected. We're underway calling this Anything Goes Extreme Rules match. You're right, JR. This is going to be off the hook. Taz is out of retirement, and he'll be teaming for one night only against the ECW champion. And did you hear the impact on that kick? He catches his opponent with an elbow. The kick connects. Here's what the fans came to see. There's the GTS. The go to sleep connects. This is Dreamer's first official match since returning from that chest injury. An injury called by the man he's been with tonight. And you have to wonder whether there's any bad blood still proof. There better not be. When you're against two competitors like Burke and Babs, you're going to have to work together just to survive. What a fierce kick. Look out. Here it comes. Good night. Punk hits the go to sleep. Think about how long Taz has been out of action. He's gotten right back up to speed. You're right, King. One. There's not a two. That was so close to three, he could taste it. And there's the leg drop. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. Oh, my word. What a slam. And he thrust his hand right into his opponent's throat. It's the Elijah Express. And that might be all she wrote. Here's the cover, JR. One, two. Oh, what a painful kick. There's a fundamental move. Looks like he's got some big plans, JR. Well, that Anaconda Vice is a heck of a way to do it. Many a superstar has fallen. Well, like it or not, this one's over. What a win for CM Punk and Tommy Dreamer. Maybe Taz should have stayed retired after all. Tonight, Tommy, you and I brought back Extreme. I think everyone wants to see us do it one better. Me in the same match for my ECW Championship. Can you believe this, King? 
fresh off a huge win against Taz and Elijah Burke, these two are going at it again. Punk got his retribution, JR, and now he wants to take things one step further to prove he's the true ECW champion by taking Dreamer to the extreme one last time. That was a grueling matchup, JR. You have to wonder what state these two competitors' bodies are in after that. I don't think it matters, King. Dreamer and Punk aren't thinking about exhaustion anymore. This is above them. This is WrestleMania. This is for the ECW title. He used his opinion on that one. There's nothing fancy about that. A simple move that sets up bigger things. That might be it for the announce table, JR. A sharp kick wearing down his opponent. A hard right hand knocking his opponent down. on that leg drop. Oh my gosh! He just drove his opponent straight through that table. And here's the pin. Ugh. Oh, what a painful kick. This is his chance. There's the GTS. The go to sleep connects. And now a pin. This could be it. Two. He almost had the three count right there, JR. Look out. Head first right into the barrier. Can Tommy Dreamer do it? What? Can Tommy Dreamer reclaim the championship he lost just three months ago? Good Lord! I don't think there's anything these superstars won't use to win this match. You're right about that. Just downright brutal. And he strikes the opponent with a quick kick. Good night! Punk hits the go to sleep! Night! Punk hits the go to sleep! This could be a pinball! One, two! Three! That's it! The match is over! That's two WrestleMania wins in one night for CM Punk. Is this deja vu, JR? Trigger looks hurt. I hope he's okay, King. But those were two slobber knocker matches in a row. Tommy Dreamer is up on his own, but he certainly doesn't look happy. Those two have great respect for one another, and the fans have great respect for them. 